was a kid, I saw Marty McFly rock across the stage with a guitar that looked like this, and I was hooked. I really, really wanted one. But that was a Gibson ES345, and they cost, start at about $3,000 used. This, I picked up at a local shop for $100. I can tell you, I'm impressed with this. This is a Groat. They don't give you a model number, uh, but this, you can find it on Amazon for under $200. Let's take a look at this thing. Let's see how this thing sounds. So here's clean through the neck pickup. Put a tube screamer on and neck, middle, bridge. So the first thing you'll notice out of the box, this guitar has a bone nut, which is incredible for, I, I have a thousand dollar guitars that don't have a bone nut. This, this is pretty good. Now your quality control may be up or down on that, but that's, that's a good thing to have on a guitar uh, of any, any guitar it gives you a really good tone. And you're probably going to need to do a setup when you get a cheap guitar like this and so the first thing to check is your your action you want about two millimeters at the 12th fret from the top of the fret to the bottom of the, the string uh, on your bass string and if you don't have a ruler to measure that you can you can pick one up from a guitar shop or Sweetwater or something or you can just get two one millimeter picks you want about two millimeters of, of height uh, if you go much lower it's gonna buzz if you go much higher it's gonna be really hard to uh, to fix there and the way you fix this you just raise or lower these screws right here and that's going to change your height you want to check the the neck uh, you want to see how straight it is look down it if it bows uh, this way away from the strings uh, you want to you want to tighten it if it's bowing toward the strings you want to uh, 
loosen it. And you want it just a little bit of neck relief uh, to give you the, the best action there. Then you want to check the, the frets. If you have some buzzing, you can check that. And so you want a straight edge that's three frets wide. You can get a tool like, like this, or uh, they make like a trapezoid shape one, or you can get just a credit card. And what you do is you put it three frets across and uh, you, you want to rock it. And if you can feel it rocking and moving, that means one of them's high. And can you hear that? It shouldn't make that sound. So that fret is actually a little bit high. Now, it's best for a luthier to, to do a setup and to fix all of these things. It'll cost you about $100, but uh, this, if you want to fix that, um, it's really easy to go too far and I have to start fixing the other frets. But if you want to give it a try, I take just a screwdriver uh, and the handle and just kind of push down on the string uh, a little bit at a time and, and you can actually fix fix it that way. If you go too far, well, yeah, you're going to wind up spending more money. So best to leave it to the professionals. But if you're buzzing, that's one way to fix it. This is a great tool. You want to check your pickup height. Uh, is it, are they way down too far? Are they too close to the strings? Uh, you want uh, three millimeters or so on, on those. So after you check your setup, you can really have fun with these guitars. You, you want to see if the pickups are microphonic. If you get close to it and talk, can, can you hear uh, something coming out while it's plugged in? You might want to change out your, your pickups. It can be done with a soldering iron pretty easily. Let's talk about let's talk about this guitar and how it sounds. I I love the sound of this guitar. It's not very bright, uh, so it has more of a jazz sound. You can fix that with some EQ on your amp. Uh, but if you're looking for a bright sound, this is this is not going to get it. it. This one came with someone had put flat wound strings on it. If you want a vintage sound, they they last forever and. That's what they, they used to use back in the day. Uh, so if you look closely at the strings, uh, you can see their normal strings have round wire that wraps around it. This is flat, and so it's very smooth, uh, like a violin string. It's easy uh, to slide on, and it's, it gives you a more mellow sound. So if you're into jazz, it's, it can be fun. If you run it through a vintage, tube amp that's really bright then it kind of balances it out and maybe that's why they were as bright as they were but let's let's see how this thing sounds so here's one of the benefits of a guitar like this is it's pretty loud it's semi hollow which means it has a block running down the middle of it so it's solid here you can get more high gain without as much feedback that way uh, but because it is semi hollow on the sides here then you get more volume and sustain playing it acoustically. So it's a great practice tool. And it's only, it's less than $200. What more can you ask for? And if you're buying one of these and you want it to be of a thousand dollar quality control, it's just not gonna, it's not gonna live up to those standards. I mean, if you look, there's uh, flaws in the finish. You can see right there, uh, it's gonna have stuff like that. It's, your intonation is gonna be off and you, you need a setup. You need a setup with any guitar, really. So it's it's worth it. Take it to a local shop, get a professional setup. It's going to play and sound better. You're going to feel better about it. You can learn to do those things yourself, of course. If you want to set the intonation. Uh, if you notice it's out of tune, the higher up the neck you play, you need to adjust uh, down here. And the way you do that, you tune the guitar to where it open. It's it's in tune, and then you tune it at the 12th fret and if it's if it's too sharp then you want to lengthen uh, it so you would move this back and same thing if it's too flat you're going to move it the other way and there's a little screw right there that you can tighten or loosen that will move this and you can set your your intonation if you've never done that so Gonna have a few demos of this playing in the mix. Thanks for checking out the channel. Have fun. Keep playing.